everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I am going to continue the success of the last video in this series that is things I don't buy anymore. The first video I made was sort of scattered throughout all different aspects of my sustainable life but the second one I made was specifically about kitchen things and today it is going to be specifically about bathroom things and stuff I don't buy anymore that are bathroom related, restroom related and furthermore this video is also sponsored Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and if you don't know Skillshare, also where have you been? It is an online learning community filled with thousands of different courses where you can learn yeah, basically everything. I've taken productivity courses, I've taken photography courses, martial arts courses, cooking courses and drawing courses, all these kinds of things and I absolutely love the variety of things that you can learn. Specifically during this past week I've been looking really into different photography classes because I really want to elevate my Instagram game and there's so many amazing tips both for taking pictures and for editing them and I'm a huge fan. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, I really appreciate it and there's also a link down below and the first thousand people to click it will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Now let's get on with the video! The first thing I don't buy anymore are plastic toothbrushes. This was one of the first things I switched out when I started getting into zero waste and I switched it out with a bamboo toothbrush and I've been using bamboo or wooden toothbrushes generally for five, five and a half, almost six years at this point. The thing about plastic toothbrushes is that they don't biodegrade and it's a very small piece of plastic so it is not very likely that it will be recycled, it's not very likely that it will even end up in a waste to energy incinerator plant or in landfill because a lot of the times these smaller pieces of plastic are often separated from the larger you know, bodies of plastic and thus they are very likely to end up in nature or in our oceans and we do not appreciate that. Bamboo is completely compostable so you can simply just bury it in your yard if you want to. You can also upcycle the handle. But the brush on the toothbrush, the actual brush part, is usually made from nylon aka plastic. So even with a bamboo toothbrush you are not necessarily avoiding plastic altogether but it is definitely definitely more sustainable than just going all plastic all the time. So I am happy with my bamboo toothbrush, yeah. The second thing I don't buy anymore are disposable cotton rounds. This is something I have been doing for the longest time as well, but simply just using a piece of washable cloth or fabric rather than using cotton or cotton rounds. Two years ago I tried washable reusable cotton rounds for the first time and I've been using those ever since. The thing about cotton is that even disposable cotton is 100% biodegradable and it's not plastic, it's not going to create microplastic but the thing with cotton is that it's usually very resource intensive to make. The cotton industry is the number one consumer of pesticides and insecticides in the world so using these materials once and then throwing it away is simply not sustainable and I don't feel good about it. So when I do use cotton products, I use cotton products that I can use multiple times, hundreds of times, and also things that I can make myself have if I have bed sheets, for instance, that are broken or about to you know fall apart, I can upcycle that cotton and use it as makeup remover wipes and stuff like that. So much, much, much easier and also a completely free slash very cheap zero waste swap that I love. Number three is air freshener. I have seen tons of, you know, plastic wrapped synthetic air fresheners that you can use in your bathroom sort of to camouflage the smells that we usually associate with the bathroom, aka poops. I have never owned one of those. I don't think it's a big thing in Denmark necessarily. I haven't owned any ever. They seem super expensive and super duper wrapped in plastic as well. So I just don't own any. I do not necessarily require my bathroom to smell like a meadow. I don't need that at all. Hashtag let poops be poops. <laughs> Number four is conditioner. I don't remember the last time I bought a conditioner and now I'm specifically referring to liquid conditioners obviously but generally conditioners. I've had several shampoo bars that have been both shampoo and conditioner but I haven't bought just conditioner and whenever I've sort of needed my hair to not die completely on me. I've used like coconut oil, I've used 
different kinds of oils or natural remedies to sort of revive it a little bit but I haven't ever used just straight up conditioners but I do like the a conditioner bar slash shampoo bar from Zero Waste Puff. I've used that for a long time and I really love that one. By the way, whenever I mention a product, you can find it down below. I've sort of left like some details. So if you're interested as well, you can go find them. Number five is body scrubs. Honestly, it's something that has always creeped me out a little bit. I don't like the feeling of body scrubs, so I haven't ever used them. Um, but I do have like some natural sponges that I use to get um, dead skin cells off and stuff like that. And after being more into sustainability, I also learned that the scrubbing part of body scrubs usually contain plastic small pellets that does the scrubbing. You can also get natural body scrubs like coffee grounds and, you know, like sugar scrubs, salt scrubs, stuff like that, which is completely okay. I just haven't ever um, because I haven't found them without plastic or without microplastic. Um, so I have made my own a couple of times, but I simply just use my natural sponge as well. Number six is tooth paste. Paste. I do brush my teeth indeed, um, but I have used dental taps and tooth taps for the longest time and I absolutely love that alternative to toothpaste because lots of toothpastes actually come both with microplastic inside just like with body scrubs and they come in non-recyclable plastic packaging which always ends up in landfill or waste to energy incinerator plants and I just haven't been there for it. So I've been using dental taps for the longest time, really appreciate them, they come both with and without fluoride, if you're interested, and I also have a review on those here on my channel if you want to hear my thoughts on those. But I've been able to find those both in small glass containers that I've been able to reuse, and I've also found them in bulk several times, which is, you know, perfection. So I haven't used toothpaste for the longest time, but I do use tooth taps. <laughs> Number seven is liquid soaps. I sort of talked a little bit about it with the conditioner thing, but I haven't bought liquid soaps for the longest time. But now moving in together with Jens, he's had some problems using my shampoo bar, so we actually ended up finding some liquid soap for him uh, from bulk as well, which is really, really cool. Um, but when it comes to like a hand soap and washing your hands, we have a solid soap, we have conditioner bar, shampoo bar, like in one, and um, so yeah, Number eight is disposable razors. I think the safety razor was also one of my very first zero waste swaps and I really really love it. I've at this point tried out some different kinds, both the leaf shave one and then the more classic looking one and I use both of them, you know, like simultaneously, not like simultaneously, like I mean, not like that, but I sort of switch in between them depending on my mood and where I'm shaving and stuff like that, but they're both really really nice and I like them both equally. Um, but I haven't used a disposable razor in s ooh, yeah since I started Zero Waste, basically. Absolutely love that switch. It's so, so nice. Um, but honestly, I don't shave a lot. And I only shave when I want to. And sometimes I feel it's super duper fun to just let your arm hairs grow out and see how long they can be. I think that's amazing. Number nine, Q-tips or cotton swaps, whatever. I think Q-tips is actually the brand and then the product is called a cotton swap. Let me know if I'm completely, you know, like off here. Um, but I haven't bought those in the longest time. When it comes to ear cleaning, I've used a Mimi Kaki stick. I've talked about this in many videos and somehow I always end up getting questions about it afterwards. Left different links down below so you can go and check it out. A Mimi Kaki stick is simply just a little bamboo stick with a little hook on its end and you can sort of use that to clean out your outer ear. I, I wouldn't recommend that if you if you have children and you have to use it on them or they have to use it themselves because you do need a little bit of precision work also because it can just go straight into your brain no it, it, it can't but it can feel like that definitely and then i've used the last swap from last object which i also really really like and that's good for correcting eyeliners and stuff like that as well the same with cotton uh, rounds they can be used for makeup corrections as well what was that but Q-tips and cotton swabs I haven't used in the longest time. Usually they come with a little plastic handle and then the cotton on each end, but you can also get them with wood on like the little handle and then cotton on each end. But I definitely think that if you can, switching to a reusable product is better than using disposable products. Number 10 is wet wipes. I remember when I was in high school and I had to remove my makeup, I would use these disposable wet wipes all the time and I think I used them a little bit when I started at uni as well but then I got into zero waste and I just stopped wearing makeup for a long time 
Um, so I haven't used wet wipes for a really, really long time. And the thing with wet wipes is that usually they're made from synthetic fabrics, aka plastic, and they do not decompose. Even the ones that sort of advertise themselves as being degradable in water, you can flush them never ever do that because they definitely clog up uh, water filtration systems and stuff like that so don't do that if you do have wet wipes they need to be disposed of with your normal waste and not through the toilet but i haven't used them in the longest time simply because i just use a normal cloth and then i throw that in the wash afterwards and it's tons easy and it's also tons less expensive because wet wipes are super expensive especially with perfume and stuff like no. Number 11 is lotions. I haven't bought lotions in a really long time because I've been making my own lotion since I started Zero Waste. And it's cocoa butter, coconut oil and shea butter melted together and then whipped up with, you know, like whew, and uh, that's basically it. I do also have a guide if you want to know how I make my own lotion, but I've been using that for such a long time. I don't remember buying a lotion. Also because most lotions, again, come in plastic and also come with so many different ingredients. Um, so, and I'm kind of sensitive towards a lot of perfume on my skin. So I haven't done that in ages and um, it's okay. Number 12 is tampons and pads. If you have been on this channel for a hot second, you will know how much I love the menstrual cup. I absolutely love this thing and I would recommend it even if you're not interested in sustainability and waste and all this stuff because it just saved my life goddamn my periods are so much less dramatic now I love them and I also recently started using period pants which I also absolutely love and I also actually have uh, two or three reusable normal pads um, which I also wash but I haven't bought disposable tampons and pads for years. I actually don't think I've ever bought tampons because I didn't use tampons before, I only used pads. But you guys, reusable menstrual products is just the future. It is so much more convenient and you wouldn't think that necessarily if you haven't tried it, but it, it just, it is, it's, oh my god, a whole new world. Yeah. Number 13 is mouthwash. This is not something I've ever used, I feel like, because I just I brush my teeth and that is sort of it. I've never used mouthwash and now I see it definitely comes with a lot of plastic packaging so it has not really been an option or something that I have needed but I've also seen that other people have made zero waste or low waste or sustainable DIY mouthwash recipes that I do not know anything about so this is not necessarily a recommendation as much as it is just an encouragement to figure that out by yourself. It's not something I've been looking into at all because it's not a need that I have had and then yeah I also just save that plastic packaging because I haven't used that. Yeah, instead I just brush my teeth. So, And I also have had these, I, this is not a substitute for mouthwash whatsoever but it's just like a, the, if you really need this minty feeling. True Gum I know is a Danish brand but I, may, I think other brands have like similar concepts. That is vegan plastic free chewing gum that has this lovely spearmint flavor which is nice. Usually gum actually contains up to 20% plastic and cannot biodegrade so looking into natural vegan and plant-based non-plastic chewing gum options is a really good idea if you love that minty fresh feel. So. I don't know why I did finger guns, I am very sorry. <laughs> Number 14 is loofahs and synthetic sponges and I don't know how to explain them but you know the ones that are sort of round like <laughs> and yeah I've never used them. I've had several ones when I was younger and I used them once and then they were just chilling in my bathroom until they started to smell really badly and we threw them away so mm, there we go. But I know tons of synthetic sponges and loofahs and stuff like that can be really really nice to have but they're plastic, they release microplastic when we use them and they're super unnecessary when you can actually find these same things completely plastic free. You can find natural loofahs and natural sponges that are not animal based but that are you know like root based, based on roots, I think they're called konjac, kojak sponges. You can also find cloths that are made in like this thick natural fiber and use that if you want to remove dead skin cells. It doesn't have to be synthetic or made from plastic. There's several other options and I've been super, super happy with my natural fiber cloths as well, something that I've been using for a long time and I don't miss the alternative 
at all. Number 15 is shaving cream. This was something I thought when I was younger that you needed to shave. It was super, super important to have the right kind of shaving cream, otherwise you would not get a good result and you would die and you would... Cool. Not at all the case, not at all the case. Instead, now I use just a normal piece of soap and I lather up my legs really nicely and I shave and I rinse and that is sort of it. You don't need shaving creams. Usually shaving creams come in plastic packaging or in spray packaging and neither is ideal and they are usually non-recyclable as well. But you don't actually need any of those products. You can simply just use a normal soap. You can also find shaving soaps that are, you know, solid soaps still. And they're supposedly a little bit better for the blade in your safety razors. But I've been using normal soaps for the longest time and I don't necessarily feel like my blades are worsening or weakening or anything like that. It's just, it's chill, nice and good fun. So uh, yeah, you don't need shaving cream. And uh, I was so happy to realize that because that is expensive. Expensive. Mm. Now that I've been talking about 15 things that I don't buy anymore, I think I want to talk about some things that you perhaps were expecting to see on, on this list because it's like a hard zero waste sustainable but was not on this list. I want to talk a little bit about what I do then. Toilet paper is one of those things I get asked about the most when it comes to sustainable bathroom routines and things that you do in the bathroom. <laughs> and I do still use toilet paper. I use a toilet paper brand called Green Cane that uses sugar cane leftovers and waste to produce um, toilet paper. It's super nice and super soft and I can definitely recommend it. Then I also have a bidet attachment that I use as well, which minimizes the amount of toilet paper that I use by half. So that's really, really exciting. I know you can also actually just make reusable toilet paper. That is not something that I have been comfortable enough doing, but I definitely love my bidet attachment and I definitely love my green cane toilet paper. I will also recommend Who Gives a Crap toilet paper, which is also amazing and comes in cardboard packaging. Love that to bits. So I really wanted to just to mention toilet paper because I think a lot of people were expecting me to talk about it as something I don't buy anymore, but I actually do buy it. I just buy very different kinds of toilet paper now. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or you can tell me down below which products you are trying perhaps to switch out at home or which products you have completely stopped buying or which products you want to stop buying. And uh, I'll see you guys in the comments. Have a really great day. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video as well. I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!